I gotta hurry up and go. Who said you can't wear makeup? I will show you around just a little bit. Like, come on, bro. We got the face done. I have to go and get my stuff because all my other stuff is in my other room. And I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, so we back. So I gotta hurry up, it's 10.46. My goal was to leave at 11 o'clock. Mm, not gonna hit that goal, but we gonna hit it as much as possible. We don't come for my hair, but we are about to do like a quick little ponytail first off. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so, so, so much for coming. We love to talk here. We love hair here. We love makeup here. We love lifestyle here. We love vlogging here. We just love it here. And I just wanna say thank you so much for coming by. And even though I look crazy, but I have to hurry up because I have to, so I have an event tomorrow and <clears throat> and I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted my hair, what I was going to wear because it's a business expo and I'm one of the VIP vendors. So I'm just excited, especially with this being the first time for LaCour having a pop-up shop. I always wanted to do one. I never really took the time out to plan one or look who's having one like and that just lets me think like was it my team was it me like but oh i just gotta comb this thing through when i found out about this um this event i found out about it late because the owner the person who created the event she met with one of my friends and um and she was like oh my gosh because my friend she that's the one i was telling you before i don't know if i told you but i told you unless it was instagram but she has her own um, franchise, a UPS. And I'm gonna throw some water up in here, some water, some conditioner a little bit, because this thing is dry. And um, so she wanted her to come there for the vendor and stuff like that. So she said, I got somebody else I want for you to have her there at the spot with you. So she told her about me, and that's the type of friends that you be needing. One, you know, let me just say that real quick. You need friends that's gonna big you up when you're not around. You need friends that's looking out for you because I know what it's like to not have that. And I just appreciate her so much for that because I have been friend hurt. Like, I don't know what type of friendship to have to the point where it's like, maybe I shouldn't just have a friend. Maybe I'm gonna just stay to myself. And it's been like that for a very, very long time. Well, I didn't want to be friends with anybody. I did it. And at first, okay, I'm lying. At first, it was when you see all of those, oh, my hair grew a little bit. When you be seeing all of those girls on social media talking about they doing this with their friend and they doing that with their friend. And at one point, I was like, dang, I want that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be that type of person that has that group of friends and we traveling, creating memories together and stuff like that. But then I was like... After everything that happened with my past friendships, now one of them I did something wrong. You know, I, you know, I, I hurt her. So I'm not about to sit here and make it seem as though like I'm innocent. You know, 
it didn't really have anything pertaining to her probably what i said was crazy or what i didn't say was crazy and i know i'm working on my mouth my mouth can be real crazy sometimes and i'm a work in progress you know i'm not perfect i'm trying to see which one should i go with do i want to go with this one or do i want to go with this one I'm gonna start off with this one. Oh yeah, I'll start off with this one. I thought I had no more. I could have used this in Josh hair. Anyway, so it's just one of those things when it comes down to friendships. I always wanted those those friendships like sisters and all of that stuff. But then after a while, I'm like, and maybe it's just me, because some clicks can do it. I have some friends from back in the day. They they still friends. They still have that same click. Some people could do it. Like it's a gift. It has to be a gift. Because there's no way. There's no way because there's a whole lot of like secret competitions. And then after a while, you realize why God allowed for things to happen. Like you could be in the wrong, the other person could be in the wrong. And then all of a sudden your friendship is done, but you never know what was the secret intentions that person had towards you. Like you don't know that because no one wants to walk away. God would just set up a situation and say, it's, it's time for this to go because this person is secretly not liking you. This person is secretly upset with you, secretly holding grudges towards you for one thing that was said or done or whatever the case may be. And I come across a lot of females saying that same thing when it comes down to friendships. It's so hard to find like that solid friendship a solid friend period is very very hard so with me being friend hurt i didn't want to give no one a chance like i stopped wanting the friend circle like i stopped it and the moment i stopped wanting that the peace i had within myself with not having it was so crazy i then started to say i really not have no friends I'm okay with being by myself. I'm okay with just me and the Lord, my husband, my son, my mama, my daddy, my family. I'm okay with it. Like, it, it does not bother me no more. Before, it was like, dang, I want to go out with somebody. I want to, you know, go out, spend some memories with each other, whatever. Now, I'm good. Like, if God allows for it to happen, I'm not going to be opposed of it. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna accept it. I pray I do. I pray I don't mess it up trying not to mess it up but that also comes with me just being truthfully honest like you i know how to be a friend but in some situations i don't know how to be a friend friendship is hard it's a lot of work it's a lot of energy it's like a relationship really like right now i ain't got time for all of that like it's just a lot of time on my hands that i don't have and having those type of friends that understand that that's one thing another thing when it came down to friendship someone once told me she said, when I see your friends, I should see you. Meaning, make sure you pick your friends wisely. Like the same questions you should ask when you're in a relationship are the same questions or may not be the same exact questions, but it should be the same exact detailed, in-depth questions. Like what happened in your past friendship? Who did who wrong? How many times did you do somebody wrong? And be honest with this person. If someone asking you that, be honest because that's one thing I realized. Just be honest, because if you're not honest, you're wasting your time and their time because the truth gonna come out eventually. I who you are, but for so long. Like, you really could. So it's no point to sit here and try to pretend to be this person or pretend to be that person. Just be true to who you are. Like, no, I don't like going out. I don't like going to the clubs. I don't like going to the, to the spot. I wanna get dressed up. Have, go to like tea parties, go to, I don't know what you want to do. That's what I'm just throwing ideas out there. Figure that out now. I'm trying to figure myself out. You want a friend that's going to read the word with you. Like, that's what you want. A friend that like, can you pray over me? Can you pray with me? And can you pray for me without me having to say it? Like, is it something that you can do? Can we go to church together? Like, my first thing is as long as you keep God first, your priorities is going to be set. Because God's going to make sure you're good. You just got to keep God first. And that's the one thing uh, Pastor Keon, he said in a recent message is, you worried about this and you worried about that. Focus on your priority. Your priority is God. When you focus on God, everything else is e eventually going to pay off because you're listening to God. You're being guided by God. 
God seeing your obedience, God seeing who you are and you're creating character and a bond and a relationship with God. And once God see you doing your best, he's going to give his best. I want his best. I don't want nobody else's best. I want God's best. But that's all, you know. So I said all that to say, like, get you some friends that's going to look out for you. Like, give you a great opportunity. So I tell her, like, hey, like, I'm okay with taking her with me because she's she's someone that gets me. I don't have to hide who I am. If I want to tell you a story... It may sound bougie to somebody else, but to her, girl, I would have did the same thing or I would have wore this or I would have bought this or I would have did, you know, she don't look at it as, oh, this girl, she's trying to show off and she got to, no. Yeah, I like nice things. I have nice things. Yes. But I like for my friends to have that too. So we both could talk. Put me on. I'll put you on. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to have that friendship that balance out who you are. Like... And it, it, I don't know what that whole opposite attract thing. I'm not a, a big fan of that. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm not against it, but I'm not a fan of it because I want someone to have what I have, like what I like. You could like other things, you know what I'm saying? You didn't got to like exactly everything that I like, but you can have your own say. You can have your own opinion about things, but... I want to make sure I'm with a friend who says my, my opposite of her would be she would say, oh, I like to go out drinking and mine's would be I like to go to a late night movie and call it a day. Have some popcorn and chill with a blanket and my glasses so I could see clearly, you know, stuff like that. That's that's stuff that I would like or let's go hiking. Let's do this or, you know, stuff like that. Now, if you get someone who's so opposite of you and y'all don't like that. It's eventually, that friend is going to be like, all right, whatever, I just wasted time because we ain't got nothing in common. It's learning people, like taking your time. Don't give nobody no titles too soon. I learned that the hard way. You want to be my best friend? You got to earn that title. You got to see me cry, ugly cry, not just cry, cry, not happy cry, ugly cry. And you got to be there for me. I got to see you do your ugly cry. We got to fight. We got to get through an argument <laughs> and see how you handle your argument with me. Like, do you hold grudges towards me? Do you expect me to be your dude <laughs> and want for me to? All right, girl, I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I ain't your dude. Okay, let's 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 chill. Okay, so you got to really understand people, know people, get to know their they're flaws. Like, stop trying to find the pretty stuff in people. Find the ugly stuff. Because if you can find the ugly stuff and like the ugly stuff and tolerate the ugly stuff, then you will learn and appreciate the pretty stuff. And when the ugly stuff happens, you're like, oh, here, I ain't remember that. A uh, bad disagreement and her, her way of handling it is, oh, I ain't going to speak to you at all. Friendship is over. It's like, dang. So all of that title we done said, what we done doing now? Mm-mm. I want a friend that's going to send me some some, some inspirational messages in the morning. One, I could send one to her too and not feel some sort of way. Not one that's saying, I used to go to church, but the church is the sinful place. Like, I don't need that energy. And I'm not against those who feel that way. That's your, that's your personal relationship with God. However you spend your time with God, I don't care. But if you my friend, I do care because I want for us to have that same, you know, I want for us to be able to talk about God. And not feel like, oh, here we go. Now I got to defend God. Even though I know I ain't got to defend God. God got it. But still, it's like, come on. So that's what I want in friendships too. So I said all I have to say this. So she didn't have to do that for me. She looked out for me. So I have some stuff planned for her. Which is exciting to do this. And um, what time is it? Didn't I say I wasn't going to do that? It's 11.02. I, I know I need to hurry up though because I'm slacking on my Mac. I already took my shower. And now it's time to just get dressed. And I love this weather because it is... We're definitely going to wear a bun. I'm just giving me a ponytail. But it is like hoodie weather. And I wanted to wear some hoodies and shirts. <laughs> hoodie and uh, shorts. So I said all of that. So I have this um, event that I have to look up some stuff my step and repeat did not come in time so it's whatever then i just had to order some bags from amazon last night 
something came in the mail. I don't know what came in, but one of the one of the things came in the mail. So yeah. Cause I got the prom. Listen, if you ain't got prom, you trip. Get prom. Please get prom. Cause it's it's worth every little penny. Alright, I think I done slicked this down enough. So yeah, so let me hurry bring in dress and I get back because now this camera wanna be acting like it's overheating. So I'll be right back. So I just wanted to do a real quick. I just wanted to do like a quick little eyelash because I'm not doing anything else, but I'm not trying to be too bare, you know what I'm saying? And I was thinking about I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my I used to do this in like high school. And this is the only thing of makeup I ever knew. Was this what I'm doing right now? I knew nothing about concealer and foundation. I knew nothing about it. I didn't know my skin tone, nothing. Ooh, I'm gonna put gas in my car. But I can make everywhere I gotta go before doing that. It's so crazy. Now this eyebrow is starting to come out better than this one. And this was the one with the problem. Now this one is starting to have the same problem. I don't know what that's about. All right, we ain't got all day to try to fix that. I was contemplating on whether I should wear my, my hoodie, but I'm gonna wear it because it's been chilly for the past few days. Yeah, it's been chilly for the past few days. So, I'll be all right. Plus, I really wanted to wear this hoodie, like, real bad. I think this hoodie is just too hot. <laughs> but I really wanted to wear this hoodie real bad. Can you see my outfit? Let me see. Yeah, I like it. And this right here, love this perfume. Oh my God, James just bought me a lot of perfume recently love that man for that love me some perfume so i was thinking about trying to do something for james like i used to do and i'm just about to switch my tripod because i'm about to leave but i wanted to do some things for him like i used to do like i used to be really i used to <clears throat> i used to spoil him a lot like a lot a lot i want to wear glasses today let's see i don't know if i'm in the mood for glasses today maybe yeah, we could do glasses i just gotta clean them but i used to spoil you him like a lot give him his massages i used to um come on to this you gotta go pee pee i used to give him his massages and oh there's the package let me throw those sneakers on come on mama It was dark in this house. <sighs> She's so annoying when she does this. Super annoying. You wanna act like you ain't gotta go to the bathroom, but you have not been to the bathroom or morning since last night. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you being that type of kid? Like, for what? I gotta carry you like you're a bad child. So yeah, so I used to give him his massages. I used to like massage him for like two hours, put out the whole bed, and then after that, I give him a face you. I used to really, really spoil him a lot. Like just doing those those little things that matters, and I stopped doing it, and I feel really bad. Like I feel real bad, and it's not like I'm doing it intentionally. It's more so like. I am just that that busy. I don't even have time, but I have to make time. And that's on me. Like that's not even on him because he makes sure that he still does the same things for me that he did before when we first got together. So I have to do that very same thing. And sometimes it's just like, I'm not meaning to do it on purpose. I just really don't have the time. Alright, so I'm gonna wear this bag. I'm happy I cleaned up my kitchen last night. I 
she thinks she's coming with me and she's not. I know it looks halfway cut off. It's, this tripod is not going to go any higher. So. Make sure I got my wallet and stuff now. Oh, that's where this was. Let me go and warm up my car really quickly. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm at the gas station right now. And I'm getting a little hot. I ain't gonna hold you. But, um, so I'm gonna head to the mall really quickly. What time is it? My so it's 11.35 right now. So I don't need for this to get crazy. I'm gonna fill it up. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna be cheap with it because normally I'm gonna be cheap and do like $50, $60. Cause I don't drive the car as much as I used to before because we drive James' car. But I went ahead to the mall because I want to see if I could get me some pants. Cause it's supposed to be like business um, dress attire. And I have business dress attire, but I'm also wearing my company shirt. So it's like, I don't know. And then we're going out tonight to eat for one of the one of our daughter's uh, birthday. So I want to, you know, have a cute little outfit. I'm not going to get too dressed up because my focus is really going to be this vendor thing. I'm not really focusing on anything else. I just want to make sure I get everything done. And then after I go to the mall and then, guys, y'all going to see this, guys. After I go to the mall, I'm going to go to the beauty supply store because I have to get me a ponytail so I can wear the ponytail tomorrow. Like, I just wanted a longer ponytail. And then I have to... Um, go to hobby lobby all right y'all about to see what this glass look like let me show you this is why i don't fill up <laughs> i don't care how much money you have this is why i don't fill up 106 who's paying 106 like come on bro So I'm just gonna shut up and everybody get to the mall and then I'll see you when I get to the mall. Hopefully I'm not too shy to have my camera out. But oh, hold on, I'm tripping. Cause I sure need my hand sanitizer cause I hate touching the, the cause I hate touching the gas thing. That's one of the places that has like the most germs on it. Oh, I can't stand it. And I get my little white. Wipe it off some more. It's like, ugh. All right, guys, I'll be back. What's going on? That cost almost like six hundred and fifty dollars, seven hundred dollars, just to get it at inspection. We're pretty good with timing right now. It's 12:27, <clears throat> and I got two pans. I will show you everything when I get back to the house because there's some things I wanted to unbox with you guys. So and show you some new things that I've gotten as far as like fitness and anyway. So I got a list of stuff that I'm going to need. Like I'm big on writing stuff down if you're not a writer down a person i don't know what you're doing man you gotta write stuff down 
So basically, this is the stuff that I'm going to need when I get to the vendor spot. But this is the stuff that I want to see if they have to pick up. Like, I was just getting my ideas down together to try to figure out what I want to put onto my table. And a lot of stuff I already have at home. But I was just thinking I should have went to Dollar Tree. Don't fall asleep on Dollar Tree. Don't fall asleep. But if anything, I'll go there after Hobby Lobby. And then I may have to go to Walmart. I may, I could definitely go to Dollar Tree for them picture frames. I could definitely do that. Acrylic lipstick holders. Baskets that are pink. I don't, mm, I would love to have that there. There's some color on my table. Because I don't have any color on my table. I'm telling you, I was so not really ready for this this expo. I was not ready for it. And being so busy, me doing this project, and then it, there's like two or three projects that I'm not talking about right now to anybody besides those that know <laughs> and that, that needs to know. So those projects hold up a lot of my time and then on top of school and then on top of cleaning and on top of trying to be fed and being a mom, a wife and just doing so much in school like and now this semester like the more you keep passing classes the classes get uh, harder so these classes like these chapters are stupid why well, I'm reading this much. So it's like a lot of my time gets so caught up and I think I only known for three weeks. Like that's how three weeks or yeah, three and a half weeks, that's the only time I've known about it. So I was like, dang, now I got to help me get this order in and help me do this and get extra product. So it was just like, I just wasn't really ready for it. But for this being my first pop-up shop. And I'm so happy that we're doing it because I've always wanted to do a pop-up shop. But for this being our first time, I am really excited about it. Like, I'm really excited about it. So I'm just going there in the hopes to just learn from this experience, especially when we have another one coming up in November. So I'm going to be completely prepared for that one. Like, I ain't got no excuses. I've, I've known about this and... I'll have my step and repeat by then. Like, I have that. My tablecloth. I'm speaking with the girl that gets me the tablecloth. Um, I got my tables. Like, I have a lot more. The only thing I'm going to do is... I already know I had to order more products for my website. Like, to sell on my website. Because I got some for the expo. And then I got some for my website. But I know I need some more for my website. And I know I need to get more products for Walmart as well. And I need to hurry up because I'm not trying to waste all my time He's sitting here talking. But I know I need to get more products for Walmart as well. But I said, you know what? Let me, before I do another order, let me figure out the order that I need. And then I am going to use the money from Saturday, from tomorrow, from this expo to get the products I need for my next expo. And then I'll just order my regular, well, I'm going to just order my regular products from my website with whatever I got, you know, so... All right, so let's go in here. I'm just really going to Hobby Lobby to see if something catches my eye. Like, that's all I'm really doing. If something looks like, oh, okay, I could use this for my table. I could do this. Cool. I don't have time for DIY projects because I still have to go to, um, I still got to get Josh. And then after getting Josh, I have to go back home, grab all of our stuff, and then go there tonight to set up so I don't have to worry about setting up Saturday morning. And then this gives me another chance just to see, all right, what am I missing? So that way I could get it before I go to the event on Saturday morning. So I was like, and then after that, we got dinner <laughs> with the girls. So it's like, oh, it's so much going on today. So that's why I want to hurry up and at least hurry up and go home so I could start doing like the... The price list though, I'm so mad at myself that I was not ready. So mad at myself right now. Because normally I am ready for stuff like this. But this is another reason why I need a team. Okay? So I ain't got time doing this stuff by myself. Alright, let's go. Hobby Lobby. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these are cute. 
Cause you know girls, we like cute little stuff like this. I still have to pack everything up and change for dinner tonight. All right, so we're home. As you can tell, I finally made it home and there's so much to do right now. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best thing for me to do right now because um, like I said, I got my other to-do list right here. Um, so let me just check off the things that I did already. So I did this, this, this. Look over, uh huh. I didn't do that. Um, I did this. Um, so I have to pack for the supplies. I have to pack all the supplies up. But first, I want to at least lay all the supplies out together so I can have some sort of idea what the table is going to look like. And then, um, and then after I put everything together. I have to put everything into a suitcase. It's probably the easiest thing for me to do. And then um, change my clothes, get ready for dinner, and then that's that. But in the process, I may do a lot of work on the way and coming back. I'm, I know I'm, I'm gonna be up late tonight. Uh, it's gonna be a long weekend. It's gonna be a long, great weekend. So much to do. Okay, so let me just at least show you guys what I got before I start um, just like taking stuff out and placing it. So I'll get back to that in a second. Let me show you what I got. What you wearing to dinner? Oh, okay. So it's a little dress up, but not. Uh, I was trying to see what I was gonna wear, but okay, that works. Okay, so now I just wanna show you some of the stuff that I got. All right. So from the Dollar Tree, I got these little um, rose petals because the desk, the table, the table that they're gonna have is gonna be. They already provide us the table and a tablecloth. Now I would have gotten my own tablecloth, but like I said, I was not thinking in time, and the girl who's doing my shirt, she's not gonna have time to actually do it because it was late when I told her. It was like yesterday. And events tomorrow so i just wanted to add some sort of pink because the company's color it says pink and red and a little splash of gray and white so i just wanted some pink on there if you see my website you'll know what the color scheme looks like but this right here just for decorations onto the uh so i got two of these and it's like 300 of them but i wasn't sure how many I'm going to need on the table. I'm not even quite sure how big or small the table is, but I wanted to have enough product laid out on the table. According, like if it's too big, I want to have enough stuff on the table. I didn't want to have this bare, just products just sitting there. Then I ended up getting some of these clear, um, these clear drawers, like to just put the makeup in it. But I got four of these. They all want to go. One of them is open. And it's just to put the products directly inside and it's just something a little cute and then you just stack them all up together you know it's just something just something really 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 cute for right now oh thank you for the package dropping it off okay so then next this is the first one i picked up and it's you know a little popcorn thingy but i don't know i just said maybe this is cute this could be for like I could put my eyebrow 
um, pencils in here. So this is for like the bigger things, the taller things that I have that can't fit into the little drawer. So I got a few of these. Um, what else did I get? But I'm trying to rush right now because I have so much to do, but I wanted, before I just start taking everything out, I just wanted to show you what I got for I did that. Then for the ingredients and showing the price list and everything. So I got some picture frames to put the price list in so it could look, you know, professional. It could look good so it's not a piece of paper that's just laying onto the table. But now it's a picture frame. Ugh. It's a picture frame that to stand up and it's gonna be like right behind the product so you know what product, what price is it? So you're not looking like, all right, so which one is the lipstick or which one? So no, it's all gonna be laid out and easy to figure out, this is the price of the lipstick, this is the price of the lip gloss, yada, 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 yada. And then I end up getting, I thought they were the same, but it's just two more picture frames, so it's nothing, nothing too crazy. So that's all from, that's all from Dollar Tree. And this was, 20, hold up. That's why I was like, let me go to Dollar Tree before I go to Walmart. But why is Dollar Tree a dollar twenty-five tree now? Like, why are y'all charging a dollar twenty-five? So my total came up to twenty-two fifty-three for that. So another thing with this event, hopefully someone, I need someone to buy at least one thing. I got my money back from this. So then I got this cute pen. I know I showed y'all a little bit of this, but girls like cute little girly stuff. So I got this cute pen. So when I have them sign up like for the email listing and get their name so I could give them, you know, probably like another 10% discount. I don't know, something to make them feel special. I don't know, just to say that they sold something. I got something sold from them. So I got this right here. Now this is just a cup, but it's not just a cup. It's what can we put inside of this cup to make it look really, really pretty. So let's see. Um, it was something like this. It was something like this. You can't really see it though. Or we want something that you can actually see. Or um, we could do some lashes. Okay, lashes looks cute in here. So this right here would be for lashes. So now we know. Lashes looks really, really cute in this cup. So it's all about creativity and it's all about, it's not having to feel like you have to spend so much money to get the look that you're going for, especially when you don't have time, okay? When you're in a rush, you just gotta get the little, the little thing makes a big, big difference. All right, so I got two of those cups. Then I got this right here. Now this is a cake holder, okay? But we could put something really dainty on here. Like, let me show you. Like I could put this on here. You know, I don't feel, or I could have it like this. Something cute, you know what I'm saying? Just something a little, you know, girls like cute stuff. It's just something just to have on the table that, it's just something to have on the table that's just not, it's just not all black or clear. There's just, just color somewhere just to get their attention so we could blend out, you know? I got three of those. And then I ended up getting this calculator. Now I know we all got a phone, but this thing was only like $2. $4.99. So I was like, okay, this is cute to have when I'm adding up this stuff. You know, you feel a little, mm, girl. That's all I got from Hobby Lobby. And I spent $21.66 in Hobby Lobby. So I need another lipstick. That wasn't even bad. That's an actually great price. So then, sack. So I had to get some pants for tomorrow for sack. And I don't have black dressy pants. Now, had I had jeans, I could have went away with it with jeans because I could have just said that's my company's uniform. But we don't have jeans, but you have to be dressy. She said, either come in your company's uniform or be business ready. So we are already gonna have our t-shirts, our LaCour t-shirts. I have to pick that up for my homegirl tonight because her homegirl actually did the shirts for us. And I should put her information down below. So get her some, you know, if you need a shirt done, I put that down below supporting. And um, so yeah, so I'm gonna wear the company shirt with these black pants. Now I was really iffy because they're like cargo, but it's still like a dressy material. And I like them because they're cargo, so I got pants, I got pockets, I can put stuff in, you got a quick money or whatever. 
I wish I had an apron so that I could just put stuff in my apron, but I don't have a company apron, so it is okay. And I end up getting these leggings too. So that was that. And that's that. And I had to go to the beauty supply store to get me this ponytail because that's the hairstyle I'm wearing tomorrow because I don't have time to wash my hair, press it out, and do all of that stuff or even wear a wig. Like, I didn't have time to do that because I would have to rebraid my foundation braids. And at one, I got nails, and then two, I just don't have the time to do that because everything is crunch time right now for me. So I just said, you know what, let me just stick my hair in a ponytail and just get me another little additional little piece that looked like I'm doing something. I'm not like a, a bullhead chicken out there. So I ended up, because I am trying to figure out what I'm doing with my hair, I'm trying to figure out how can I grow my hair, the thickness of it, and making sure that it's always moisturized. Because when I did put this relaxer in my hair, my hair started to feel dry all the time. So I ended up getting some black castor oil, um, I heard this was really, really good for your hair, so I'm going to try it. And I got this from the beauty supply store, and these things were like $2 or something like that. All right, five. Then I got some rose oil as well. I didn't want to get the rose oil. I didn't want to get the rose. That wasn't the one I wanted. No, I definitely didn't want the rose oil. That one, that one was expensive. That's why I didn't want it. I thought I got the other one. I thought I got the, whatever. Then I got the, that's what I thought I got, the rosemary. But this is the rosemary and the black castor oil one. So I will be trying those in my hair after I shampoo it. And then this is the ponytail right here. So I'm gonna put this in before we go to dinner as well. It's like stupid dumb long, but I was going to braid it anyway. So it's gonna be one long braid or I'm just gonna leave the ponytail just as it is because it's not like this is the best of hair where I can actually just wear it without the tangling. So I don't know, but I will try it out tonight to see how bad the tangle is. If it's not a bad tangle, then I'll let the hair just be, put some oil on it in the cool of the day so that the sheen can match my actual ponytail. But if it is tangly, we're gonna braid that to the right up. I may get one of my daughters to braid it for me while we're there, so I don't have to worry about braiding it. Or I can do it myself, so it's not big deal. And this package came in. I'm supposed to be getting another package today from Amazon, so I don't know what these are. All right, so these are the thank you bags. So I need my disposable. Man, I needed those disposable. Babe, you didn't see another package, did you? I need those disposable lip thingies. That's why I paid the extra little thing for it. So these are the thank you bags that we have. Like I said, listen, I didn't have the time to get the liqueur name on the bags, but for the next event in November, my goal is to make sure liqueur is branded on everything that we have, down to the bags, the gift bags, all of that stuff. It's supposed to be branded. So let me see how it would look if I was going to something. All right, <laughs> it looks pretty big, but I also got it this big. I could have got smaller, but I got it that big because what if somebody wants to get the blush and highlight if it's perfectly in the bag? You see what I'm saying? If it's perfectly in the bag, so that's what I have. And I think those only, these bags only cost me probably like $13.99 on Amazon, I believe. Where's the receipt at? I do like these bags though. These thank you bags. Okay, so now that I got all of this stuff together, I want to lay everything out to make sure that I'm good because now it's time for me to put this stuff in the suitcase. So that way, when it's time to leave, everything's already set. But I do need to take this hoodie off because I am hot. So I'll be right back. My main focus right now is just order. If you see my desk, you will laugh at me. So this was the first name of my makeup brand, which was 625 Cosmetics. These right here, I just gotta clean them. So I'm going to use these as well. This is why you need rubber bands. Okay, so 
I forgot I had this right here. I forgot all about this, okay? Let's see what's inside of it. Don't mind everything else. Wow, told you, this is an oldie but goodie. Put a little bit in there. I got Mac. I haven't used that in a minute. Eyelash glue, Wet and Wild, BH Cosmetics. This was this was when I was doing like makeup real heavy. Here's the other sharpener. Mascara. Look how small that little nub went down. <laughs> Alright. Wow. And this was my old makeup brand right here. So I switched this logo so many times, but this was a foundation stick. Ooh, I wonder if I can still use this. I may still use this. Girl, I may still use it. Mind everything else, okay? So it has these little flips on the side. And it's more stuff. Like this is perfect. Alright. I'm just trying to pull all of this away. And this is another piece that goes with it. So this is actually perfect for me right now. So I'm just gonna get my wipes and I'm just gonna wipe it down first before putting anything in. Thinking about labeling everything so I know what's what. Cut this, and it's not gonna be a perfect cut because who cares, it's not a perfect cut at all. And I'm one to be really good with doing like DIY stuff. Like, I don't care. It could be cheap to you, I don't care. It makes sense to me. These I have to leave out because these are the testers. Me a Sharpie, get that. Wrap it around so I know what's what. I know what the numbers mean. Let's wrap it around so I see, so I know. Okay, so now we have these shelves here empty right here. So I got them all into that suitcase right there. I didn't realize how much inventory I have until I have to actually figure out what I'm gonna do. All right guys, so now I'm in a rush now because I'm gonna hurry up and go. So we're gonna do this makeup like a real quick, a real quick beat. Nothing fancy. Let me just rub it in first. Yeah, I know I don't like doing that, but because I'm in a rush, I gotta hurry up.
Oh, we're done. Okay. So I'm just gonna hurry up in the car. I'm gonna do my mascara in the car, my lips in the car. I'm about to do this ponytail real quick. Babe, you know the camping chairs? You can start putting that in the car. These mirrors. Josh, get up, let's go. I would definitely have to do this ponytail for y'all like another time. Like I really need one. I gotta hurt them though. Okay, so we got here guys. I am super, super excited to even just be here. Oh my gosh. And it's like a really nice setup. I will show you around just a little bit, but I just want to actually start setting up. So just set up with me, okay? It's time to set up. I'll be here. Okay. guys this is my girl she did my shirts okay <laughs> these things are bomb tell me your information just in case the classy collection both with a k and i'm on instagram tiktok facebook website or email me at info at the classy with a k collection with a k and got you <laughs> yeah and i'm gonna put your information in the video too okay. I said a lot of makeup products feel heavy and this doesn't feel heavy at all. Like I don't even feel like I got makeup on. Hey guys, this is your girl Dom and it is time to unwind with me. Let the day B and today I am completely exhausted. I had my makeup on since 7 a.m. and now it is 12:35. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. And this is how my face look, guys. Still, this is how I look. And I done ate, drank, all of that stuff. I love the results, but I just want to go to bed. I am tired. Okay. So I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about this expo. I loved everything about it, especially this being my first expo. It was so amazing, guys. I am just super excited that I did it. It was fun. It was exciting. Josh was there. James was there. My team of men <laughs> was there. And my my goal for you today is just to let you know, like, don't be afraid to try something new. This was my first time ever going to an expo, and I will go to another one. I loved everything about it. It was fun. It was exciting meeting other women. It was it was just fun being able to network with other women. Oh, you gotta put this here in the ponytail. 
but it was fun being able to network with other women it was exciting it was everything and more that I actually thought and now the only thing that I want to do now is just expose like my thing when I tell you like I had to take a leap of faith and actually do it because it was something new when you're trying to do something new in your life whether it's business whether it's school like just go for it don't hesitate about it just just do it because you just never know and because of this expo I do have some things lined up later on in this year but going to this expo opened my mind to just being able to want to do other things I just love Loved everything about it my favorite part about the expo was the fashion show the fashion show was so amazing the creativity and just seeing that everyone is out here doing their thing like everyone is out here trying to make it work trying to make everything happen and there's no excuses out here it's like you just gotta just go for it and it was just so exciting to see the fashion show it was exciting to see other vendors and all the things that they got going on for them just as well and it was just so exciting um and then we had everybody dancing the food and all the different things that people were doing it was amazing and just having to be able to have people come to my table and give me like feedback in person and not just having to wait for feedback like through an email or through a text like and there's nothing wrong with that i love all sorts of feedback but i love the feedback from everyone um up close and personal and like i love the fact that everyone just had an opportunity to do swatches because sometimes ordering online can be like really really difficult and really hard to try to figure out your shade and things like that so it was good to be able to feel like the texture and to just have a one-on-one -on -one getting to know me understanding my story understanding what liqueur means understanding why i even created liqueur and to be able to have that conversation with everybody amazing and i just love everything about it it was so much fun and i just love to be able to tell my story i love the fact that i got to get close and personal with my clients with my customers i got some information i had to get to know like one-on-one -on -one stories like their story their background they wanted to know my story my background how they became who they are and getting to know other people and starting to networking it was an amazing experience and if you have never been to an expo my best advice is to always do your research study and go to other expos to have some sort of idea what it is but don't put too much pressure on yourself because at the end of the day someone had to start we all start somewhere so don't stress yourself out when i got interviewed also the question was what is one of the advice to give for a business and the best advice i could always say is to pray to put god first and to always push to not allow your obstacles to get into the way but man when i tell you this expo was everything and i i can't wait to do more i can't wait to see what's in store we have a lot of things planned for the rest of 2024 and for 2025 so and i love the fact that my family they came out and my cousin she came to support me i love that i love like support and you don't understand as a business owner sometimes just a little support goes a long way and i just want to give my shout out to my home girl danita she has her own ups franchise and she was there she the one who put me on to this expo and then to the girl who does our shirts oh my gosh she did an amazing shirt for us and i'll leave all that information down below because guys listen we gotta support each other because if we don't then who will we must support each other and I, i'm just super super excited for just the things that's in store for liqueur so like i said guys listen i loved every single thing about this expo it was amazing for it to be my first time down to just the venue the owner the person who's in charge of it nika like she was amazing she's a down-to-earth sweet soul everyone was nice her staff her team everything was nice about it and i'm not just saying it because i'm just saying it no i'm saying it because for this to be my first experience i had an amazing time so i just want to say thank you so much pink iron and women business expo for giving me 
in the core our first opportunity to have our expo and guess what guys it's more to come real quick before i go to bed who said you can't wear makeup i'm just saying who said you can't wear makeup but do you see this right here it's a glow that's what lacore do we protect your skin while you're wearing makeup because we all about the natural ingredients so guys thank you so much for coming and i'll see you guys later <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> Bye.